It's the Plug Medical Group Ozark. 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 Whatever. I opened this on camera the other day. I don't know if I did it. I think I might have done it vertical though, so I don't know if I'm going to drop it in this video or leave it as a bit of a short. Um, but I've had this before, so this isn't a first look anyway, really. Now, what has been going on with the plug? Now, again, this has been a bit of a nightmare to get hold of for different reasons this time, though. I joined the plug for uh, about two weeks. Unfortunately, partly because of this, realised what a terrible idea it was. It's taken me two weeks to get hold of this. The Plug Medical Group, the doctor that they gave me, only writes prescriptions once a week. So if you don't ring up on the right day, you've had it. Tacoda One only deliver once a week. So if you miss that prescription and don't get it to the pharmacy on time, you're not getting medication that week. I got the prescription done for me, and it still didn't get to Tacoda One for Wednesday delivery. So I had to wait till the next week. The following week, I paid. The moment I got the invoice on the Wednesday, I paid within four minutes of getting that invoice and I paid for next day delivery. What happened? I get an email from Tacoda One saying that they'd been told by the plug that the dates for extending the sell-by date on this flower were coming through that day and they were told by the plug to send out all the invoices but then that information didn't come through so they couldn't send any flower out to anyone and I got caught in that. So they took my money knowing that they couldn't send anything out because they told Tacoda One to take payment for flower they didn't have the legal capacity to send out yet. So then I had to wait another week. By this point, I'd had enough. I just lost my rag with the plug and just left. I just told them I'd log logged a formal complaint, just left. Some of you may remember from last time that I got a Tacoda One package that uh, I complained and asked you all to put in the comments about how the packaging was done at your pharmacy. And nearly everybody put my meds come in a box. The tub is in a box so it can't fly around everywhere on its own. As I've said before, Welford uh, is packed with packing peanuts and they throw some Haribo in there for you as well. To code a one, this apology came in a plastic bag that had another plastic bag in it that then had the paper pharmacy bag in it. So it was just, again, just left wrapped on its own without a box just to be chucked around everywhere. Yeah, I do not recommend the Plug Medical Group. I do not recommend to code a one in the slightest. And here's where we get to the bitch. This flower's great. This flower's really nice. So Ozark by Grand Genetics is one of the first regular strain releases from the team. Continues their efforts working with some of the most sought after and desirable terpene profiles and genetics on the market. Ozark ticks all the boxes in respect of what most of the market craves these days. Candy and gas terpenes that perfectly carry across from aroma to the flavour on the palate with a supreme potency and bag appeal to match. The majority of phenotypes found carry across the unmistakable Zgittles terpene profile but add a tantalisingly sweet gas from the jealousy genetics in the father. Thankfully the growing habits stem from the jealousy male as the Ozark is extremely vigorous. Its clones root quickly and the yield ranges from medium to above average and above all she is also pretty simple to grow. The resin production also stretches far beyond what is typically found in cultivars with Z genetics. The jealousy male unfailingly adds a stunning range of vibrant hues and improved potency to nearly everything he touches and the Ozark is another example of this stud shining through. The ideal harvest point to maximise Ozark's candy gas harvest window ranges between 8 and 8 and half weeks but she can be taken slightly longer for extra bag appeal thanks to the dark hues Ozark packs on in late flower as well as increased potency. The COA, the certificate of analysis, has got confidential written all over it which is just nonsense. This was packed on the 10th of May. Yeah, loss on drying, 7% so not great but here's where those kind of things don't really matter. Let me tell you, I think this flower is really nice. I don't think it's too dry. I think it needs a Bovida pack but I think it's really nice. The smell is lovely. I'm not getting gas and uh, candy from it at all. This is way more paint-like to me. I'm not getting gas and candy in the slightest. Yeah, it's way more of a, <laughs> a painty strain. <laughs> but I do think it tastes nice. I do like it. It's 19%. It's 950 a gram. It should be a bit cheaper, but it is one of the best, best flowers on the market, I think. The 19% hits way harder than you would expect because it's got flavour. It's got terpenes. It's nice. And I don't really want to bitch about the clinic, but that's where it's come from, and that's how I've got hold of it. And it's the clinic and the parent group making the decisions about how we can get hold of this and they've made it really difficult to get hold of and they've made their clinic inaccessible for me so it's the same batch number but it's now got an expiry date of the 1st of january 2025 
I should mention as well, this is UK grown, and this flower I don't think disappoints. Anyway, that's your first look of the uh, <laughs> the Ozark over. Uh, it smells nice, looks great, works great. It's an absolute nightmare to get hold of. Uh, let's get on to the next bit. This will be in the next video. Please go and see me over there. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and all that nonsense. Really helps the channel out and the videos out because they all get blocked by YouTube and nothing gets shared by YouTube or sent to new people. So you'd be doing other patients a massive favour if you can just hit the like, subscribe, and if you can share the video as well, that'd be amazing. Anyway, hopefully I'll see a bunch of you in part two.